Here's a tutorial on how to create a heart shaker badge reel using our heart shaker badge reel starter kit. This comes complete with everything you need to get started. So let's go ahead and do it. In your kit, you're going to get a piece of shaker film. That's what we use to seal up the shaker. Some resin rockers, original UV resin formula and some exclusive glitter mix that we mixed in house. It's called Running Up That Hill. It's a really nice, light, fluffy mix that's perfect for casting something like this. You're also going to have the Happy Flower Polymer Clay Shaker Filler. This is one of my all-time favorites. You can add vegetable glycerin to it to make it move slowly and preserve it a little better. This is the one I use. So let's go ahead and take our UV resin. We're going to add it to our mini silicone cup or whatever you have to mix with. And then we're going to take our running up that hill glitter, put a couple spoonfuls in, and we are going to stir that really, really well. Go ahead and dump that into your mold and let that rest for a couple minutes just to let it level out really well, let any bubbles rise to the surface that may have been created when you started mixing. Now go ahead and take your lighter and just run it across really, really quickly to get rid of any surface bubbles that may have been created. Then go ahead and cure for about 60 seconds. Turn your piece over, cure for another 60 seconds. You can check to make sure it's cured by checking your tools and if everything peels out really well, you know that your piece is cured. So let it cool for a moment and then go ahead and take it out of the mold. One thing you'll notice is the little divot at the bottom and that little divot is what we're going to use to fill our shaker using a blunt edge syringe. So for this next part, you're gonna grab your transparency film, which is your shaker film, and you'll notice that protective cover that peels down. Make sure that is the part that goes down. Take your weeding tool, or you can use a marker, and just trace around the perimeter of the shaker. So you're just gonna make a heart shape, and try to keep it in the middle of the shaker as much as possible, because you're going to be using this to seal down what is inside of the shaker and you'll be coating it with UV resin. So go ahead and cut the shape of the heart out and make sure it fits, make sure there's no gaps. Go ahead and add your shaker filler to the shaker. Then take your UV resin and make a light line all the way around and use your silicone brush to kind of spread it around so there's no large globs anywhere. Using tweezers, lightly drop that shaker film right on top and just gently press so that it's nice and sealed, put it under the lamp and cure it for about 60 seconds. Once it's finished curing, you'll set that aside and we're gonna mix up our glycerin and water mixture. I use a 50-50 mix of glycerin and purified water. You can use baby oil as well. It's totally up to you what you wanna use. Add some UV resin to the middle of the piece and with your silicone brush, gently work your way from the middle to the edges leaving a nice tight seal all the way around. Run your lighter across quickly and let it rest a few minutes before you cure it all the way. This will allow it to level out so that you have that nice glossy finish when you're done. Now it's time to fill your shaker. Go ahead and use your syringe and extract the mixture of glycerin water into the piece. Take some alcohol on a Q-tip and just clean the surface of where you injected that just to make sure there's no oil. Add a little UV resin and cure it. That's gonna seal that hole up so that nothing leaks. So just make sure that's cured all the way before you proceed to the next step. Now using the E600 super glue, we're gonna go ahead and rough up the back of the piece a little bit with a sanding block. Wipe it with a shop cloth to get rid of any dust that might be there. And then using the end of our Q-tip, we're just gonna put some of this E6000 on the back of the piece, and then we're going to spread it onto the back of the badge reel blank as well. Now we're going to adhere it to the back of the piece, and to keep it in place, we're gonna use UV resin all the way around the perimeter, and we're gonna cure that UV resin. That way, it will keep the badge reel blank in place while it cures for 24 hours. So go ahead and add that, and then I just take my silicone brush and kind of spread it out to make sure there are it looks nice. You want it to be nice and even back there. So just spread it out to make sure there's a nice tight seal and then go ahead and cure that for about 60 seconds in your lamp. Once that's cured, 
we're going to get our piece ready for the snap gem, which is the last step to finish this awesome little shaker, you guys. These are so cute. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna use UV resin for this. So go ahead and just put a little dot of UV resin on the bottom of that snap. And it has to be just enough to be able to put that rhinestone on there and have a little bit around the perimeter of the rhinestone. That way you know it's not going anywhere. You can use a rhinestone picker. That's what I use. If you don't have one of those handy, you can use a pair of tweezers, but you're just gonna pick that little gem up Put it right down inside of that UV resin, and then we're going to go ahead and cure that for about 60 seconds. That's just going to ensure that that gem does not go anywhere. That concludes our tutorial. Like and subscribe for more. We are always releasing new, fun, exciting kits.